Do you balance serving God and your daily business with a deep and constant prayer life? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Heidelin Diaz just made history in the Tokyo Olympics as the first and only gold medalist so far of the Philippines since the modern Olympics began in 1896 in Athens. She not only won the first prize in the 55 kilogram women's weightlifting category, but also broke the Olympic record with a total lift of 224 kilograms. She lifted 97 kilograms in the snatch category and 127 kilograms in the clean and jerk category. She admitted though, that she had never lifted 127 kilograms before. She tried to do so during her training, but she always felt frustrated and in tears. But when she finally did it in the Olympics, she was also in tears, but this time it was of joy. When the competition narrowed down to her and the current world record holder, Liao Qiyin of China, it became a chess match. Liao had one attempt left and she just cleared 126 kilograms. Heidelin decided to lift 127 kilograms on her last try, a make-or-break attempt at eclipsing her opponent by one kilogram to get the gold. Standing proudly in tears on the podium as the Philippine national anthem was played for the first time ever, she pointed to the embroidered Philippine flag on her jacket and then held a tiny medal. It was the devotional medal of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. I did not expect to lift that weight. Perhaps it was God's will. I thank God for this win and for all those who prayed and made novenas for me. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. We focus on Martha who is invoked as the patron of housewives and lay sisters in the religious congregations. She is portrayed with a ladle, a broom, or a bunch of keys. When we read the Gospel, it would seem that Martha is shown in a bad light compared to Mary, who Jesus says has chosen the better part. But Jesus called her name twice, saying, Martha, Martha, something he probably has not done of any personage in the New Testament and is an endearing and loving way of calling her attention. Indeed, if we look at Martha closely, there is much good in her. She puts her heart in everything, particularly in serving God. However, Jesus notices her worrying and fretting about many things. Like us, she is consumed by anxiety when there is no need for it. She did not appreciate Mary's expression of love for the Lord while she herself was doing all the work. We can learn much from her as we serve God in our parish, in our renewal community. For all her busyness to please the Lord, she is imperfect in the sense of letting her emotions get the better of her. Serving God becomes superficial when our busyness leads us to neglect the most important. It is when doing becomes our priority rather than being, that is when the work of the Lord takes precedence over the Lord of the work, that we forget our call to holiness. Martha grew weary because she lost sight of the object of her service. We get angry at ourselves for getting ourselves in this situation. We get angry at others for not doing their part. The harder we work, the more worked up we become, just like Martha. And this results in burnout in our service. Charles Hummel, in his book Freedom from the Tyranny of the Urgent, notes, Tension and frustration mount when we are performing the wrong tasks or trying to cram too many of the right activities into a given period. A critical spirit develops and we begin to judge and condemn others for what they do or don't do. Anytime you feel a wave of criticism gaining momentum in your spirit, remember that it's completely out of line as far as God is concerned. When our souls are not fed by the Word of God, when our prayer time lapses or is done haphazardly because we need to fulfill our tasks in community, in the parish, or even in the workplace, we easily get affected by all the noise around us, the distractions, the little things that normally a composed and spirit-filled person will just gloss through, ignore, and even appreciate as part of the daily testing of the faith. The Lord wants us to be like Mary in our worship in giving regular time and undivided attention to the Lord in our prayer life. But He also wants us to be like Martha in our service. As in weightlifting, balance is important to lift weights three times heavier than one's body weight. For us, 
Balance is what will make us stand straight when the winds of difficulties begin to blow in all directions. We should keep a good balance between our prayer life and our service to remain peaceful and calm, to become joyful even in trials, to attain our holiness goal. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer my daily struggles to you and ask you to equip me with the right attitude and disposition to serve you well, while I love those around me as well. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.